question for you. Are you uh, still trying to fit into that bathing suit or the suit or whatever <laughs> it is when you go out? Well, with all those barbecues and summer parties, you might be feeling a little bit bloated. But Melanie, she has this skinny. You have some ways to beat the bloat. Yeah, it's a little late in the season. At this point, I'm like, just enjoy your summer and still wear the bathing suit and whatever. But hey, if you got a little bit that you're working on and you've been spending your summer snacking on Cheetos... I better get these away because I will start to eat them. Or soda. You know, you might notice that your stomach might begin to bloat up a little bit. But there are some things that you can eat and consume that will take some of that bloat away. So how about a little yogurt? Start your day with that. It has probiotics and it can help ease that belly bloat. It's also lower in lactose, so it can be a better choice if you are mildly lactose intolerant. And here's what you do. You pair it with a little granola, and that is going to increase that good bacteria in your system because the prebiotics in the oats is good bacteria, and it will help feed that good bacteria that's in the yogurt. So these two together, a good combination. Also, a little fiber, my friends, broccoli, like the only vegetable I can get my kids to eat. So broccoli, cauliflower, it's good for the heart. But keep in mind, there could be too much fiber and it might cause your belly to ache a little bit. So the suggestion here is try steaming it and you can combine it with a little quinoa and then you have the protein here, the broccoli here, and it makes it a little more digestible. All right, so how about tomatoes? Add them to your salad. Or some people just like to eat them with maybe a little olive oil and some pepper. Mix this with cucumbers. It's packed with H2O. So it can help you stay hydrated if you're not the best at eating or drinking your water. And that can offset fluid retention. It's interesting, the more water you drink, the flatter your stomach will be because it kind of pushes that water out. So you might want to make an omelet for breakfast. How about that? Eggs, a good choice here. Instead of sugary cereal, again, this is high protein. And when you consume that protein, it reduces belly fat and it also begins to make you feel a little full. All right, plant-based oils like extra virgin olive oil. This is a key for so many things. Keep your heart healthy. It also gives you that full feeling so you don't want to snack as often. So skip using it in the deep fryer though. This is so good over your salads, maybe with a little vinegar, a little salt and pepper um, instead of those fatty dressings. That's a good option. And you need this good fat. This is good fat people. And then green tea. They've been talking about this for so long. Just one glass a day or one cup a day. It's been used medicinally for thousands of years in China. One of its benefits is relieving stomach bloating and gas. It also serves as a natural diuretic so there you go. Just a few things that you can incorporate. Get rid of this. Vic, I'll give you this because you're already flat stomach and you're young and it's not going to affect you the same way. So get to shopping, folks, because these are some things that you can consume before the summer's over. You are flattering me, but I'm absolutely not in that book. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the broccoli. Thank you.